Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate for you the cross-cultural family inventory exercise. Now this assumes that you've gone through uh, Ruth Ann Reckon's cross-cultural kid model and that you've got something like that in front of you to refer to. What you want to do is do some kind of simple family tree. This is uh, something that looks some, a bit like my family tree uh, and we're going to use this as a blank <laughs> to allow us to have a look at what cross-cultural influences exist in our family. The reason I like to do this is often there's more there than we realize, especially if we go back a couple of generations or sideways a couple of generations, we include a few of the, the in-laws and a few others. Um, there's often more cross-cultural heritage in our families than we realize and more intersectionality than we realize. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to pick one of those categories from the CCK model and we're going to start putting it onto our chart. So I'm going to start with traditional TCK and I'm going to pick the colour green and I'm going to go and mark everyone on this chart who's a traditional TCK with a stripe of green. So just like this. We'll just keep going across the chart. As you can see, there's a few TCKs in our family. Okay, um, next we're going to pick a new colour, so let's go with orange. Uh, this time I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to mark anyone who's the child of an immigrant. All right, next up, let's go with anyone with a multicultural, multi ethnic heritage. Okay, um, let's mark cross-cultural adoption. Let's see, I feel like there's something else in our family that's missing. But basically, you just keep going like that. Go through around the chart, um, all the different categories of cross-cultural experience, uh, and start marking that on your chart. Another thing that might be interesting to do is mark... Um, a third culture adult experience. So this is all the cross-cultural kid experiences. But sometimes it's interesting to put a sideways mark for adult cross-cultural experiences. So who has made that decision as an adult to go and spend time overseas temporarily? So let's look at that on this chart. Yeah, um, so that's just a quick look at what it looks like to start doing this experiment, um, this exercise. That's a really quick picture. You get the idea and you can start expanding that in your own family. Um, this can be especially helpful to see where there might be patterns in your family, where there might be cross-cultural experiences that you maybe hadn't really noticed or paid attention to. Oh, I realised one that we didn't note, um, where we have people who have been domestically mobile. So we get another person here who has been domestically mobile. Um, and here... All right. So yeah, there, there's another few options. <laughs> this is a great way just to have a look at what um, cross-cultural intersectionality can look like. I hope that gives you some ideas of how you can maybe apply that, use that 
think about this. This is mostly an exercise for thinking and for recognising where there's cross-cultural intersectionality at work in places that maybe you hadn't considered were cross-cultural before.